Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a more succinct and updated, it's been one year as of February, about the Dermaflage product. And that was the very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube. I will link it down below in the description box, so you might wanna check that out. It gives you a lot more backstory on the product. But what I want to do today is going to go ahead and show you how I apply my Dermaflage. And while it is curing, so to speak, I will answer some questions that um, people have posed to me on my YouTube channel under that video. And this is for applying it over a liquid foundation. So where my scars are, as you can see, I have ice pick scars from acne when I was a teenager. Right here, it's really, really bad on me. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll get in here nice and tight. You guys can see, I'm gonna turn and turn so you can see. The principle for me is this area on this side because I have contour, I put my blush on there, I have my liquid foundation. And I think for a lot of people, if you have scars in an inconspicuous place on your face or like a flat area or something like that, dermaflage is really easy to use. But what if you have a nice big scar or a scar somewhere on your face where you, you have makeup on, okay? So underneath my makeup right now, I have on moisturizer, I have LA Girl liquid foundation on, I have Contour, I have blush, highlight, and setting spray, powder, everything, okay? So that's what you wanna go ahead and do if you are going to be using Dermaflage over a liquid foundation. Go ahead and do all of your normal makeup just like you would. This is for if you have Derma, you wanna use this in a conspicuous place. So I'm gonna go in with the Dermaflage primer. So I'm putting it directly into these ice pick scars and these ice pick scars are sort of funny because I've, there are basically about three or four of them kind of all smooshed together. A couple of them are ice pick scars, a couple of them are just gouged out. You can see this one right here. Sort of looks like a triangle. It's a disaster. I wipe off my brush tip before I put it back into the bottle just so that it doesn't get mixed in with the primer. The primer is very liquidy. You don't have to wait a long time for it to dry. I use the color medium and I'm going to go ahead and dispense a little bit of product onto the lid of the silicone pad case that you get in the starter kit. This is a mixing tool that you get with the starter kit as well. I'm gonna mix all that together. You wanna mix this really well because this is, this, is, this is how the product is activated. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the product. You've got about 30 seconds once you mix it to get it on your face. So I'm going to sort of dab it. You don't need a lot. Like I said, my first video, I go in a lot more depth. This is for just a quick sort of succinct, I, I hope succinct video. And then this is the silicone pad. I cut mine in half, it's normally a circle. So you just apply the pad on there and let it sit. So this time we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the questions and answers. I leave this on for two minutes. Dermaflage suggests one minute, um, but since I'm using it over a liquid foundation, I'm gonna put, I usually do it for two minutes. So I'm gonna go through your, some of your questions and answer them. Okay, one of the questions is, why do I apply it after my makeup? If you apply this before you put your makeup on and then you apply foundation over it, the foundation sticks to the, the Dermaflage quote unquote patch. If you apply the Dermaflage before your makeup, it will look like a, you will see it. Okay, and that's not what we want. But I'm gonna show you how I get it to all blend together, okay, using a liquid foundation. So that's one of the main questions. Let's see, what if you have oily skin? and you use liquid foundation, like I said, I use the primer. If you have oily skin, they do suggest using the primer before. So I did that. And also people have commented saying that they have a large area they need to cover. You don't wanna use this on a large area. You wanna find the areas on your face that bother you and use them in those specific areas because you don't really wanna put it on skin that's not um, indented, okay? So this is leveling out the plane of your face. Let's see here. Um, you guys are always really so nice about it. It looks like a lot of you have actually bought the product um, after doing the video. It, someone asked if you can use this on chicken pox scars. Yes, you can use this on anything on your face that's indented. Um, you can even use it on the wrinkles on your face. I have not, not tried that. Um, I do want to get my, I don't really want to offend anybody, but I wanted to get my sister-in-law in here. Um, she would be a good model for me to use to see if it would work on wrinkles, air, wrinkled areas like the 11s here or the nasal labial fold. So I'll ask her and find out. I'm, 
you know, delicately ask my sister-in-law, can I cover up your wrinkles from my YouTube video? It's kind of horrible. But I, I do plan on trying that because I'm frankly curious as well. How long does it stay on without removing it? It is 100% waterproof. When I, if I wash my face just using my hands with soap and water, my, my cleanser and water, it won't come off. I have to literally take tweezers or, you know, just pick it off my fingernail and peel it off. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. So it will stay on until you take it off. Generally about 24 hours, you know. Someone asked how you order it. They are not available in a drugstore. That was another question I got. This is not available in a drugstore. This is only available on dermaflage.com. There are, I think, maybe some other sites. You can just Google dermaflage and find, but the main, their main site is the best that I've found. How long does the product to take to arrive? They always ship by FedEx. Uh, they ship internationally. So I got mine in about four days and I live in France. Can the nose area be treated? Yes, you can use it anywhere you want. I actually do have a couple little ice pick scars on my nose that are real tiny. I don't really bother with them, um, but you can. You can use it anywhere on your face because it's silicone, so it does move with your facial expressions. So I think it's probably been about two minutes, let's see. So you want to just take the silicone pad and slowly peel it off. That is it. Now you see how it's lighter than the rest of my skin. That's because when I put the primer on, it took off my bronzer, my contour, my blush, my foundation with it. That primer just sort of kind of makes it dry and kind of cleanses the area of sebum, oil, makeup, and so forth. So let me see really quickly if I have any more questions here. Let's see. How can you order? Dermaflage.com. Really simple. I'll link it down below. Wondering three things first. When you're actually being looked at by someone up close, say at an outdoor gathering in bright sunlight, can the fills be seen easily? Second, is there a technique where this might be able to work for lots of enlarged pores? And third, does it ever start to peel up if you smile or move your face? Number one, I am going to say no with that. I have never had anybody, you know, look at me, talk to me outside and look at me very strangely like, what is that? It does not peel up when you smile. It moves with your skin. It's a stretchy silicone. So it stays put and it doesn't move. As far as working for enlarged pores, I wouldn't suggest that. I would choose whatever pores you want to cover. It might take you some time and just fill those and then just fill those pores and then put the patch on over. Because if, like I said, if you put this on level skin, skin that's not indented, you're gonna see a lump, okay? You would like to know what the price of the product is. For the starter kit, which I do suggest, that's what you start with, obviously. It's 40 US dollars. Then the primer, I think, is... Okay, the primer that I use, this, this bottle right here, is $15, but you need so little of it it would pro this would probably last you a good year if you were to wear this every day. What color do I use? I use the color medium. Let's see. Okay, so one of them they want to know is how you can cover up the shiny appearance. This doesn't really have a shiny appearance, but I do know what this person is talking about. So I'm going to show you right now what I do. I take whatever I brush I use from my foundation, and it still has a little bit of foundation residue on the brush. So once it's completely dried, I mean, it's it's basically dry once you, once you take the pad off, but I do like to let it sit just for a little bit. And I just kind of stamp over it. And already it's starting to change color, do you see? Now you don't want to do any of this motion, you want to just stamp. Then this is the my bronzer brush. I just kind of use it to stamp over. And then my blush, my blush doesn't really hit on that patch. Kind of do it that way. And then I take a, this is my powder brush. I don't add any more product. I mean, there's stuff on this brush. I would, I'm assuming, right? So get it nice and close so you guys can see. I, like I said, I don't work for Dermaflage, okay? But I am always here if you have questions because I've played with this product a lot. Now, if you look at my channel, I don't really wear Dermaflage in my videos anymore. I actually wear it more, more out in public, believe it or not, than I do on my channel, which is, I know that sounds strange. I don't know why. I think it's because it was the very first video that I ever made for YouTube, and I did it because I felt so self-conscious about my scars, and social media with my scars was what bothered me. And I actually did that video first because I thought, okay, I want to start my YouTube channel, 
and I want to come clean that I have this on, but I want it to be able to look good in my videos and you know, for you not to see these ice pick scars. So I wanted to put that out there in the universe to make sure everybody knew I had it on. However, after I did that video, the reason I don't wear it in my subsequent videos is because it felt very freeing to admit that I have this problem. And now it doesn't bother me as much. That doesn't help anybody out there who doesn't have a YouTube channel. If you are self-conscious about your scars, this product absolutely 100%, I promise you, does work. Will you, is there a learning curve? Yeah, there is a learning curve. Are you gonna get it right the first time? No, probably not. Are you gonna get it right the, by the fifth time? Maybe. I'm gonna say it took me maybe three tries to get it to a point where I felt comfortable wearing it. Three tries. Be patient, talk, to the people at Dermaflush. They're really, really nice. They will help you. They want to be there for you. I found their customer service to be absolutely impeccable, top notch. What I wanna share, and this is just on a personal note, nobody is perfect. Even the movie stars that you see, they're not perfect. They have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. And I know for a fact that Dermaflush is one of them. I hope this video helped you guys. Continue to leave me comments or questions that you have. Feel free, I will answer any and all of them. I'm just here to help you guys. I'm not part of the Dermaflage team, but I will say that it has, if any of you who suffer from these scars, you feel embarrassed. On a personal note, you don't need to be embarrassed. Scars tell a story. You've all heard the cliches. I'm not going to get into it. But second of all, there is something out there that really, really, that really does work. I know a lot of you out there bought it. Because you said in the comments on my first video that you ordered it. How did you get on with it? Like, I'm really genuinely curious to know if you like it. Some of you have told me, yes, that you did like it. But I want to hear a little bit more. So leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you would like. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.